peace, love, and light, and unity to you all. Well, this video is actually a continuation of a dimension playlist that I made before. And I made it, I think, a year ago when I was trying to work out in my own mind how the dimensions are playing out consciously. And I have a better idea these days as more and more things become more clear to me and I awaken into my true self. I wanted to share with you the eighth dimension. Now, if you have not seen my seventh dimension video, I highly recommend you check that out. Having the message that humans have the ability to merge with the fairies in the seventh dimension and become your fairy self, become your true archetypal self that you imagine in this world, in the seventh dimension, you can become. So it's really wonderful news as something to look forward to in the future, that as you obtain the higher dimensions of consciousness within, you have the ability to move up and live in these realms. So the eighth dimension, this is something that I didn't get a chance to really talk about, but I kind of hinted at them. If the seventh dimension is the gateway of angels and where fairy realm is basically parallel to the angels and the angels are the guardians and the protectors of all life around the multiverses. What happens is in the eighth dimension, when you retire in a way of wanting to not live out your experience as a seventh dimensional entity any longer, which you are a light body, but you're a spirit, you're a demi goddess, you're a demi god. If you don't want to live that way where you can become physical and enter into the cycle of either helping humans or manipulating them because you're a spiritual entity and you're influencing the material world of the, the third dimension, the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension, and even the sixth dimension, the seventh dimension entities can actually influence the material world just as spirit bodies. What happens is at the eighth, any type of archetypal creature that you exist as in that dimension, what happens is you decide for yourself that you are ready to enter through the gates of God, or what we call the prime source. It has many names, but what it really is is the entire consciousness of the collective multiverse of all souls that you can think of in the universe. When you decide to enter into those gates and become one with that source, then you know yourself as the only thing that exists. And if you are the only thing that exists, you can then become your very own creator of a new universe. And you become a creator of new life forms. And you open up parallel universes and you actually can then be the creator of that particular universe and set the laws of physics and set everything within your own mind because the truth of the matter is is that each one of you is a creator but we experience ourselves in the lower dimensions because it's something to experience life as but as you get tired of doing that as a soul feels it inside that they are ready to transcend and move into new realms of experience. That's when you enter into these new gateways of consciousness. And I'm telling you now that after the seventh dimension, after you become your fairy self or your angelic self for eons and eons of time that cannot be even calculated, but when you are done helping others or being a guardian or protecting and even when you are done um, inspiring humans, when you are ready, when you are truly ready and he and he evolved to the point where you can accept yourself as the only creator, that all of our souls together equal the same collective, that's when you enter into the gates of the eighth dimension. 
and the eighth dimension is when you can decide to create your very own universe. You go back to the prime source, which is you. It's all of us. And that's when you can start to recreate. And that is the eighth dimension. And that's really what the angels are protecting. They are guarding that gate to make sure that only the souls that do the work and move up the ladder of consciousness move into that place. So the angels are there to protect the gateway of the collective. They are there to basically be mirrors to us down here on the third dimension of physical space and the fourth dimension of time. They are here to protect and to move us along. So that is the eighth dimension. And it is truly something to aspire to and to just know in the back of your mind that it is true that you really truly are your own creators. And even though you may not feel like it in this dimension, just remember that a parallel you, another version of you, is entering into the gates of Godhood. And you then can create your very own universes from there. I will definitely go into it more with my Gladian University of Wisdom. And I'll give you exercises on how to tap into this place and how to ensure yourself the ability to really recognize the creator part of you and you can move into that dimension when you are ready but there are other dimensions that exist even beyond the eighth dimension and so it is really a truly a, a beautiful realization about the infiniteness of you and so just remember that as you go through life and things are hard and you may be struggling